this is an express magazine, business magazine, in 2002. BV on the brink. Everybody knows Conrad Alia. Can any article on agriculture compete with that? The news? It is difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, having won the Agricultural Entrepreneur of the Year Awards in Trinidad and Tobago, I was pleased with this to compete with Conrad Army. <laughs> wow. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> We wrote them in, man. <laughs> to say that agriculture is not reported, agriculture is reported. I've been in the news, I've been in a long time, I've been in the sector a long, long time. On the 23rd of last month, we talk about climate change, and we talk about the effect of climate change, as if it now, we will now hear now. IPS has this article, the Enterprise Service. Trinidad's farmers outpaced by climate change. And that is not only restricted to Trinidad, many parts but what? The article states the remain shows the remains of houses that one farmer attempted to build, that the shade houses attempted to build to protect his crops from the effects of climate change. He subs subsequently abandoned the project after the Trinidad and Tobago government withheld the anticipated subsidy and more. But the article went on to state that that farmers oh, why if I give it a that farmers have a difficulty in coping with climate change. But within the article, Ika, Dr. Gomez, he gave a broad, I'm sorry that I cannot read it, but he said that while farmers are grappling with climate change, there are examples where we have been preparing for climate change. And what he gave in it is what I am doing in my small holder farm of three acres preparing for climate change. And the CTA in one of his fourth publications had an article on feeding the land. And in that article, it mentioned the issues of the land in Africa and ACP countries and what is happening in the Caribbean. The article went on to state that the European Union and many other agencies and African agencies is spending money to regenerate 6.3 million hectares of land in agriculture. 6.3 million land, hectares of land in agriculture because of land degradation, because of the issues with land and water. Is that land management? How serious we are looking at. I would want to refer to two articles in the Trinidad Guardian newspapers. One is bad farming practices can impact on the environment, and two, forging ahead to solve ecological farming. Agriculture is a dominant 
occupational sector in the global economy, which is challenged to ensure food security for an increasing population averaging 100 million people a year in an environment of climate change, urbanization, and the water, food, energy nexus. Inappropriate agricultural practices and land use have adverse impact on natural resources such as land degradation and the decline in soil fertility and pollution of soil, or pollution of water and air, fragmentation of habitat and the loss of life, wildlife. Ladies and gentlemen, a key challenge facing the international community as well as local institutions and farming communities is to ensure food security for present and future generations while protecting the natural resources base on which they depend. Over the past 50 to 60 years, the focus on agricultural development and research has mainly been on maximizing yields, coupled with increasing specialization of production and even larger farm sizes. Although yields have increased substantially, contributing to raising total production, farmers in the environment have had to pay, a, pay the price for keeping up with this development. During the last two decades, however, many farmers have chosen to make the transition to practices that are more environmentally sound and that have the potential to contribute to long-term sustain sustainability of agriculture. When these things are written, who for? Press write this. I am following it up because I have written these two articles. 